hello guys the footage you're watching in the background is from uh winter veil vale 2019 the first winter veil vale of classic but the footage that will be in the rest of the video is actually older uh, i made an abrupt pause in my lone paladin series i just wanted to re-roll play a normal character first have fun with the game and i have a high level warlock and almost a 60 druid now and i did two molten core raids and i got like six epics in total and i had my fun and i will continue playing those but i thought that um, it's a good time to come back to my iron man paladin for now so this video will be the clips that were not yet released with the previous videos uh, the clips that i made after the previous episode but never actually edited into an episode before i decided to re-roll very spontaneously so enjoy uh, and next episode should be up to date now <laughs> Thirty-two and the lion quest completed. Buying the expert cookbook and learning cooking up to two hundred and twenty-five. Thirty-three over here in Vesselas. Just finished escorting the NPC from the keep over there, and people on WoW had comments made it seem like it's really hard, and people at level thirty-eight are struggling and something. And for me, it was really easy. I don't know. Uh, it, it, it just killed mobs one by one, and the NPC didn't lose too much health. Hey, I found Rex and Misha. 34. I have uh, some stuff that I need done. For example, my gear broke, and I couldn't find any repair tradesmen up in the north. And also, I want to train my fishing further so i think all of this stuff and maybe more i can do in booty bay and also i'm gonna grab a flight path just in case there was supposed to be a fishing contest it's sunday today but i don't think it comes out uh, until later phases and i also didn't bother with the kurobashi arena here because everybody and their mother is leveling up in kurobashi at the moment so I think it's it's not worth it trying to compete with all of these people. The trinket would have been sweet though, it's five stamina. Here we are uh, at Booty Bay. Old man hemming and he's selling us the base and you. For one whole gold and it's gonna teach us how to be an expert fisherman. There were three greater sagefish schools here so i fished them all up and all i got was nine raw greater sagefish uh a roomsy for 15 stamina that's a twink item if i remember correctly uh we used to pop these when playing twinks like crazy but also i got this little chest so compact chest clip let's go oh mithril shield spike Hmm, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a very important recipe later on. I don't know how rare this is, but I'm very glad we got it. I'm gonna bank it whenever I get the chance. Really nice. I just used the scroll of intellect on myself, and then seconds later I looked at my buff bar and noticed, well, there's an... Arcane intellect up there, some mage must have buffed me when I didn't see. So I clicked it off and then I realized how stupid I am. And here's level 35, just barely. Unlocks a new talent tier, so let's slap one point into vengeance quickly. It's not really much, the 3% bonus, but when maxed, it's gonna be a big DPS upgrade. And I think we're, well, we tried to finish all, all the quests possible and do a bit of grinding to hit 35 to continue adventures in Stranglethorn Vale. Good thing that the ogres that I quest I just turned in 
gave plenty of silk cloth before. I I think I also had like two or three stacks and it only gave me a couple points. So we're lagging behind in tailoring. Uh, gonna have to fix that a little bit, but I can make 15 bolts now and 15 bolts will make five headbands. So that's like still not much. Far, far away from 225 needed to start Mage Wave. Oh, and forgot to mention the most important thing of all at 35. We unlock a new drink, so we're gonna buy a lot of that. See our cash stack shrink, so let's buy at least three stacks. As always, missed it, but level 36. As you might remember, I'm still using a white weapon, and I just got the quest. It's called Venture Company Mining that awards a spade. It's a literal spade. Uh, that's a lot better than my weapon. It's a little bit faster, which is not perfect, but still faster that, than the 3.5 speed threshold where Seal of Command is best seal. Uh, it gives stamina and 15 spirit. 15 spirit is nuts. White weapon doesn't give anything. Uh, and the damage is a lot better too. So getting that spade would be absolutely an enormous upgrade. However, there are two things to consider. One, the monsters that I have to kill to get the Singing Blue Crystal are level 40 minimum. So if we pick up our fights and only kill the level 40s, I would still have to blow cooldowns, but probably will be able to manage to kill some and get 10 if we're lucky. It's like a 50% drop rate. So maybe killing 20 will take some time, but... Uh, it will definitely be worth it for the weapon. And secondly, the spade is a mace. It's a two-handed mace. And I stopped using mace at level 11. So our mace skill in two-handed maces is 55. Which will suck short term because we'll have to train up our maces skill. But will be great long term because uh, as a human I get plus five skill to maces. So it will be definitely, definitely far better than an axe, if I'm able to kill those guys. The fights take long, but with proper mana management, I think it's doable. To kill one, it would just take ages because of the glancing blow and hit issues. Progress so far, I've killed like five goblins and looted my first crystal. And I also died like two times. For now, level 40s are doable and I don't have to blow any cooldowns except, well, Hammer of Justice, but that's like standard rotation right now. But level 41s get significantly harder and take like three or four times longer to kill. Drain all my mana, all my health, and probably will drain a Divine Shield if they crit a bit too more often. Uh, level 42s are absolutely undoable, and if I pull more than one, then I lose a lot of resources just running away from them to lure one away. So it's definitely, definitely a struggle. If I happen to find a level 40, I will kill it, and I will try to continue and get 10 crystals, just because how big of an upgrade that weapon will be, but it's... It is a struggle. Woo! That's a great belt. I think so. Losing stamina, but strength is worth more than stamina, and we're getting plus three defense, which isn't that great. But I think that's my first ever equipped blue item. Woo! Finally, page 14. 
obtained that means we only need page eight and it apparently drops from the ogres over here i've been killing them for the past maybe 10 15 minutes uh still using the white weapon can't progress with the singing blue crystal quest because it's very very early in the morning right now and the mobs are all level 41 and nobody is there to kill them and respawn them as 40s so i can't even come close and I've decided to start grinding to maybe get level 37, which would make the quest a bit easier. And also to complete all the pages. And I finally looted one of the two that I've been missing. So just page 8 left to go. I'm actually leaving the ogre's camp now. Gonna sell all the junk I have. These pages really take a lot of backspace, I can tell you that. I'm gonna sell the pages that I no longer need. Uh, all the junk I've gotten and we're gonna move to Murlocs because Murlocs hunters and freighters have the highest chance of dropping page 8 according to Wowhead uh, so we're gonna grind our XP and hopefully get the page there this is the last Murloc for level 37 let's put up a taunt point and I wasn't uh, lucky enough to loot the page 8 from those, so the plan now is to go back to our favorite place and grind 5 more crystals. And if it's too crowded or I cannot kill whatever monsters are there, uh, or after I'm done, we will go do one bar of experience at every type of humanoid I can find until we get the page. Yes! Finally done with this bullshit quest. I mean, it would be fine if I was higher level, but you know. I can get that sweet weapon upgrade now and grind the humanoids for XP and for that last damn page. Come to me. Spade. A Picayer's wet dream. Now we have to level up our two-handed maces. Uh, can we kill anything in Stranglethorn to keep the page grind going? Maybe we'll move and kill the Curzon, the low-level Curzon, and if we really can't do anything with the mace after some time, we'll just keep killing them with judgment. And slowly getting skill points. I think that's the game plan for now. Okay, it took a couple of minutes, but we hit 175 maces, and I think that will have to suffice for now. So we're going back to questing. New weapon, done. Skilling up, done. A little break to quest in Arathi, done. So we're back here, back in the jungle. And let's grind on humanoids until we get enough cloth to level up our tailoring and until we get that goddamn page 8 to finish up this beautiful quest. It exists! It exists! Page 8! Oh my god! Count here! Yes! Finally, it's like one, two, three, four and a half bars of experience just here. And whoops, I'm dying. Okay, I, I don't mind dying. Kill me. All of the pages, all of the chapters on a non-trading, no action house and no party character. Come to me. 4.7 thousand experience. <sighs> Glad to over. Now let's sell all the duplicate pages we have. Level 38. I think I grinded in this cave for half a level, if not more. And all of my gear broke. So now it's time for a break and repairing all of that stuff. Because we, I have so many silk cloth slots taken uh came to stormwind to use up some of it for tailoring skill points 
and now I started using a tailoring guide just because every single cloth matters so if I use wrong professions wrong uh, items to craft it might cost me a lot of added time to grind up the cloth in the long run so uh, it seems like we need to make silk headbands until 170 and then up to 175 with a formal white shirt and then start using mage wave so i don't have 50 mage wave we uh, suggested so we just get to 175 and whatever mage wave cloth we can use i think you missed the chest clips well i certainly didn't miss that kind of loot Level 39, level 40, whole last level was grinded here on the trolls here and there and the last one bar took a lot of time because there's a lot of people came questing here when I also visited Badlands for like two quests but I don't think that matters. So now let's put our final point into retribution, unlocked repentance. So we're gonna put that in the bar soon, but first let's go and get our mount. We're here at the Paladin Hall. I've already upgraded my abilities and let's buy the ability to wear plate mail. We don't have any plate to wear, so that's just for the future. And now let's learn how to summon our horsey. So, I didn't really know what to do, <laughs> getting level 40 just sounds like a, an absolute goal that I had for quite some time and now I'm pretty lost on what to do, so I've decided it's a good time to level up my cooking and my fishing up to some higher levels because grinding from 40 to 60 we definitely need some good food buffs. And it's a good break from just grinding the level up uh, like we did on the trolls for hours and hours on end. Just hit 150 fishing and I'm gonna be at this lake, the Mistral Lake in Ashenvale, until 205. So just hit 205 fishing and because I'm an ugly ugly cheating bastard I'll check up the guide and see what to do next. All of the catfish will be now cooked and since 175, well, we didn't get much points. If you look at the chat, it's all of the cooked, 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 cooked and not much points. One point here, a couple of points here, but since then the rate is really, 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 really low. So, uh, it doesn't really matter because we got all that we need. 175 was the goal, 179 is what we end up at. All of the cooked catfish are here and I didn't bother cooking the snappers because they're grey already. Let's sell these, let's see if they sell for a decent profit. These are one copper each and these are four copper each. So not much but maybe a couple of silver. And let's get our ass to Dust Wallow Marsh now. 224 fishing done. And so far our boy Nat over here does not have any quest for us. And it should unlock at 225. So as soon as we hit that 225, let's see if he'll have that yellow mark over his head. As soon as I hit 225, he does offer a quest, so let's learn what he wants us to do. The reward will be upper, upping our fishing cap up to 300, and he wants us to get four fish. One of them is from Swamp of Sorrows, the other one is from Desolus, then Thralus and Strangletorn 
Veil. As far as I know, they are not too hard to catch, just require a bit of travel. So I'm glad we have the horsey. And let's go catch four fish. So the first fish has been caught, it only took like two casts. So now let's run to Feralas and catch the second one. Second fish also on the second cast. Over here at Feralas, I actually went to Feathermoor Stronghold and got the flight path over there. Uh, it didn't explore, I don't know why. So now I think it's time to go back to Eastern Kingdoms and fish the remaining two fish. This one took a little bit more time, but here's three out of four done. It's raining pretty hard right now, so I hope that's not too loud, but we caught the last fish, so now it's four out of four, we can turn the quest at Nat Fagel, and we also caught this... Oh, it's, it's locked. Uh, never mind. We are here at our boy Nat Fagel, let's turn in the quest. Took some time, took some running around, but for a decent XP reward and we can now get our fishing up to 300 and I would probably end myself if I had to grind some more fishing today. So I was gonna say let's go back to questing but I actually feel like fishing so let's fish. Yes, 255, let's get out of here, let's do some cooking. I think I cooked like 50 of those trouts, and I still have close to 100, and we're already at 225, so now it's time to move over to Tanaris and do the cooking quest. This is the quest that requires us to get uh, Altrax Swiss, Zesty Clam Meat, and Giant Eggs. And I think I can get the giant eggs and the clam meat over here in Tanaris. And I already bought the Alterac Swiss and have it with me. After a long grind, we have all of the giant eggs farmed here in the hinterlands and the zesty clam meat from Tanaris. So let's go back to Gadget Sun and unlock our cooking. Let's turn in the quest at Mr. Dirge Quickleaf. Here is your clamlet surprise. And I think I can get cooking up to 300 right now. Finishing up with all of the raw fish I had at 282. This is really, really close to 300. I'm gonna check out what fish do I need to finish up my cooking. And I think uh, maybe I'll max cooking pretty soon. I've caught enough Night Fin Snapper to possibly get max cooking. It gets yellow at 290, but the first yellow uh, skill ups are still pretty much 100%. I have two over what I need, which is one stack. But the problem is I don't have my fire with me. I don't have a flint and tinder and I don't have the wood and I don't know where the closest fire would be and the trip to this place is relatively long and also I didn't discover anything all the way so that that's I want my XP back on the topic uh, I think I will try to stay here a while longer coincidentally uh, there are nightfin snapper I'm fishing up here for the nightfin soup the knife in soap is one of the best consumables, if not the best, for my class right now. So if I get too many, well then they're gonna be used up anyways. We're getting closer and luckily it only failed one time, I think. So maybe here, yes, here we have it, 300 cooking. During leveling cooking, I wasn't exactly sure uh, what fish I will still need, but after I'm done, sold all of the useless fish I still had, I will bang the snappers and oily black mouse for the late, late time. I'm gonna do alchemy. And look at it, so much space has been reclaimed. 41. 
taking a little break here because we are 184 tailoring with enough mate weave cloth to create one bolt and bolts so far even though they're green they gave me skill ups so if this one gives i'm gonna finish up 42 and it did yes i'm gonna finish up 42 and go to stormwind and use up all of the silk cloth bolts i have stashed up in my bank 42 okay so i have 120 one bolts of silk cloth which should and it probably will get me to 215 which is 30 skill ups if they don't somehow i have a little bit more silk cloth that was supposed to be going for first aid that i will dump into tailoring and then we have a little, little bit of Mage Wave Cloth Bolts. Uh, maybe we can make the bags by then. We'll see. So now we're going to make uh, Crimson Silk Vests. And then I'm pretty sure we're making Crimson Silk Pantaloons. Up to 215. Yeah. I'll see you back when I'm done with it. One more thing before starting, uh, I'm starting at 66 gold and 78 silver. We'll see how much gold will of the silk cloth give us in items. This is the last pair of pantaloons I'm gonna be making. And I already sold the vests that I made before because they took too much space. So let's sell the leggings too. And together with buying materials to craft them and buying recipes from the tailor trainer, like the biggest killer was the silk and thread, but I also paid like 50 silver together for this recipe and this, which I'm gonna do in a second. We turn up with around 5 gold profit. So not bad. Now, uh, what I'm gonna do is create those black mage wave leggings uh, I think up to well the guide says just make five so I will just make five up to 220 so I will need to buy 15 silicon thread and as you can see it costs a lot if I buy 10 that's like 45 silver ouch But those give 8 intellect and 14 spirit. Let's see if they're better than what I have. They give a little bit less intellect, but a lot more spirit. So I think we just crafted ourselves an upgrade. So formalities to be attended. Let's spend 5 gold. Uh, okay. Let's spend 5 gold and learn how to be the best tailor possible the cap is now 300 and just 80 points between us and the best bag we can make